Mayo is a mobile and fixed telecommunications service and brand from Altus, Portugal, managed by Mayo, Servicos de Comunicacos e Multimedia. The service was piloted in Lisbon in 2006 and was later extended to Porto and Castelo Branco. History The commercial launch of the ADSL2 Plus service took place in June 2007. The satellite service began in April 2008, using the Hispasat satellite, soon followed by the FTTH service. The ADSL2 Plus and FTTH offers reached across Portugal and included broadband internet services at up to 400 megabits per second as well as a telephone service. Mayo was officially founded after the separation of PT Comunicacos and PT Multimedia, later Zon Multimedia. While PT Multimedia employed coaxial cables, after separation, Mayo started making use of copper cables. The television service supplied by Mayo within the copper cable network is served on the ADSL line. In May 2009 PT Comunicacos announced, after Terrestrial Digital Television TDT transmissions had started, that the Triple Play service was also available with fiber optic speeds can achieve 400 megabits per second. Another service relies on TDT, Mayo TDT, which is included in the 3G plate service that is captured through the mobile internet signals from TDT. This service included one high-definition channel and the five main Portuguese channels, RTP1, RTP2 SIC, TVIE ARTV. Mayo TDT service also allows some of the advantages found on the ADSL and fiber optic service pause, record. In July 2010 Portugal Telecom informed that Mayo had surpassed 700,000 clients. In November 2011, Mayo achieved 1 million subscriptions. In January 2014 Mayo and TMN became a single brand, Mayo Servicos de Comunicacos e Multimedia SA. In 2013 Mayo launched a quadruple play service called M4O that in addition to the functionalities already referred has added the mobile phone, in a converged strategic logic. In July 2014 Mayo launched a bundle which also includes the offering of mobile internet, called M50. Topic: Chronology. 1991. Created on the 22nd of March to take on the only existing mobile service in Portugal, based on an analog network launched in 1989 by TLP Lisbon and Aporto's phone service and CTT Portuguese Postal Service National Phone Service, both state companies. The network prefix was 0676. In December, Marconi Portuguese International Phone Service, also a state company, bought into the company. Ownership became equally split among the three partners. 1992. In March, regulatory agency ICP Instituto das Comunicacos de Portugal, Communications Institute of Portugal, announced the winners of the public bids for two licenses for mobile services through GSM. One winner was TMN. The second winner was a private consortium formed for the bid, called Telecel, later bought by Vodafone. In May, the first GSM call was placed. Prefix was 0936. On 8 October the GSM service was commercially launched. 1993. In May, the first roaming call was made. In October, TMN launched the voice mail service for free to all customers. 1994. TMN was incorporated into Portugal Telecom, the state-run telecom born from the merger of TLP, Marconi and Telecom Portugal spin-off from CTT .1995. Inauguration, in February, of the digital network in the Madeira Island. In September, launch of MIMO, the world's first prepaid mobile service .1996. In April, a new logo was presented. In June, launch of Spot, a prepaid tariff for younger customers. In July, inauguration of the digital network in the Azores. 1998. In April, TMN was the first Portuguese operator to adopt billing by the second as imposed by law. TMN reached 1 million customers. In September, third GSM competitor was launched, Optimus. Now NOS. 1999. TMN reached 2 million customers. It got its second million customers in just one year, as opposed to nine years for the first million. ICP granted to TMN a license for fixed phone services, with prefix 1096. 
TMN would only offer this service to its corporate customers, backed on its parent company's landline network. Point two zero zero zero. Prefix of TMN was changed to 96 as part of an overall restructuring of the national numbering system. Point two zero zero three. In June, TMN launched a mobile portal, i9, pronounced INIV, on the trail of Vodafone Live, launched in November 2005.2005. On 28 September TMN introduced a new logo, shown above point two zero one four. In January it was reported that Portugal Telecom will discontinue TMN brand and merge it with Mayo. 2017 From 31 October the carrier name on the iPhone changed to Altus Mayo. <laughs> Marketing The communication campaign invested in a strong advertising effort, protagonized by Portuguese humoristic characters, the Gato Fedorento. Service MEO's technology transmits over fiber optic and ADSL, either television IPTV, telephone VoIP, and Internet. Mayo ADSL integrates a router with a switch, connected to the telephone plug to decode and distribute the signal, and another for the television called Miobox. The two Miobox models are built by Motorola and Scientific Atlanta, with a processor, optional hard drive, HDMI slot, two SCART slots, a digital sound slot and an Ethernet slot. The Mayo fiber optic service uses an optical network terminal, that decodes the fiber optic signal and passes it to the router. Topic. Television Mayo offers television content transmission through four platforms, the ADSL network IPTV, fiber optic IPTV, satellite DTH, and the 3G, 4G network inherited from mobile communications carrier TMN, added to Mayo in January 2014. Mayo ADSL television service includes a basic slate of 120 TV channels. Subscribers can access more than 170 channels if purchasing the Mayo Total bundle, which included HD channels. FTTH Mayo offers bundles distinguished by the speed of data transmission. Just like Mayo ADSL, the basic package includes 120 channels, with IPTV channels can be purchased through the Miobox remote control, unlike the satellite and coax services. Another advantage is its speed of 200 milliseconds. The IPTV network also enables the customer to play games in the Miobox and to explore content from the Internet and dozens of interactive apps. The programming schedule is available along with a PIP picture in picture showing other channels on screen alongside the current selection. It is also possible to record and pause the show being live transmitted or even watching what was transmitted on the last seven days automatic recordings. In geographies where fiber optic or ADSL networks are not available, Mayo offers a television service by satellite. The Anywhere MEO's TV solution is called Mayo Go. Topic Mayo VideoClub Mayo VideoClub is a video on demand service that offers a catalog of thousands of Portuguese and international programs, including movies, documentaries, and concerts. Additional features available include trailers, synopses, cast and IMDb rating, a favorites list, 48-hour viewing window, renting HD, 3D movies with Dolby surround sound, total control and privacy through a security pin for rentals and purchases and a security pin to access adult content. Mayo VideoClub can be used inside or outside home on televisions, tablets, smartphones or personal computers through Mayo Go service, and connected TVs and game consoles. It is possible to watch movies without an internet connection, using download and play, available on a PC through Mayo Go. In 2014, the services was refreshed with an improved image, faster navigation and new features with additional content and information, and a more accessible user experience. Mayo VideoClub offers multiple payment options including a monthly invoice and the prepaid Mayo VideoClub card. Topic. Mayo Go Mayo Go allows viewers to watch live TV and video on demand content on Windows, Mac, and mobile devices such as tablets and smartphones via any 3G, 4G broadband or Wi Fi Internet connection. 
Mayogo offers over 70 TV live channels, automatic recording, thousands of movies, and access to a programming guide that contains detailed program information and allows scheduling alerts and remote recordings. The Mayogo free app is available for the Android, iOS, Windows Phone and Windows 8 operating systems. The service is available at no extra cost to Mayo TV customers, via MEO's home Wi-Fi, or via any 3G, 4G and Wi-Fi Internet access. Since Mayo Go's launch, in November 2011, the service added Download movies to watch later without Internet access August 2012. Mayo Go app for Windows 8 October 2012. Automatic recording January 2013. Tablet February 2013 and iPhone and iPod Touch February 2014 apps with a remote control, social network integration and a share to TV feature. To send contents form the mobile device to the TV in 2013 Mayo Go had more than 100.000 monthly active users, and more than 500.000 app downloads. Worldwide, it was recognized as one of the most complete and innovative platforms of its kind, winning international awards, including the CSI Awards 2014 and the Stevie Awards 2014. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Internet. The ADSL Internet service offers 24 megabits per second downstream and 1 megabit per second for upstream without traffic limitation, nationally or internationally. The fiber optic network allows downstream speeds up to 400 megabits per second and 100 megabits per second downstream for a higher data allocation. In 2015 mobile internet was added, named M50. Telephone <inaudible> 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 The telephone service offers charge-free calls without limit to all national fixed networks. Initial costs are integrated in the Mayo service subscription. Topic: Mobile phone. Mobile phone service is supplied through the TMN networks. Following the demise of the TMN brand, tariffs remained unchanged and the telephonic support line 1696 remained the same as well. In 2015 telephone service was included in a quadruple play pack, named M40. Channels Sponsorship Mayo sponsored all the «Big Three» from the Primera Liga Benfica, Porto and Sporting from 2005 to 2015. However it started sponsoring Porto again, as well as Rio Avenue and Desportivo das Aves. It is also a sponsor of the Portuguese Football Federation. <laughs> 